music in the world, the bronze, to WHNT, the CBS station in Huntsville, Alabama. 60 Minutes broadcast its report last night on former Alabama Governor Don Siegelman and Carl Rove's reported efforts to get pictures of him cheating on his wife. Only they didn't see it on WHNT. The station went to black just as the segment started. No picture. WHNT initially blamed it on transmission problems from CBS in New York. When CBS pointed out that transmission problems would have affected more than just the one station in Huntsville, WHNT changed its story to say that its receiver failed. That there may be more to this was suggested by the station's original written statement, which blamed, quote, tech in cull issues. C-H-I-N-C-A. The runner-up, James Rosen, who plays a reporter on Fix News, Ran a clip of Senator Obama interrupting himself to say, I'm going to blow my nose here for a second, followed by crowds cheering. Rosen then said, quote, that kind of spontaneous affection Chairman Mao only dreamed of. And that kind of spontaneous hack journalism Karl Rove only dreamed of. But the winner, Morton Kondracki of Fox Noise, parroting the latest smokescreen falsehood from the GOP talking points, quoting Kondracki, Barack Obama violating a promise, if he does it, is talking about foregoing public financing. No, it's not. It's in writing. It was in a questionnaire. This is open and shut, even for you guys. Obama wrote, if I am the Democratic nominee, I will aggressively pursue an agreement with the Republican nominee to preserve a publicly financed general election. He promised to pursue an agreement. Come on, Mort. You're a better liar than this. Morton Kondracki of Fixed News, today's worst person in the world.